the hourglass shape. It's the shape that's broader on the shoulders, brings you in at the waist and then goes out. It's the shape that Sarah, my gorgeous model, and myself have. We still struggle, don't we, Sarah? <laughs> when I buy jeans, they fit me well around my hips, but they're just too big around my waist. And I bet you find that you had a belt. Yes. So, I'm gonna give you some advice. When you put a pair of jeans on, you should struggle. When you're trying them and you're looking in front of the mirror, they should be digging in slightly. Once they've given, the last thing you want is to add a belt here because it adds that bulk. So go down half a size in right. your jeans. So if you're a size 12, you'll be a waist 30. Go for a 29 inch waist. They're gonna fit you perfectly once they've given and no more belts needed. From a styling angle, what you want to make sure is that tops nip you in at the waist. The great thing about an hourglass is you've got a tiny waist, so we want to show it off. So we've dressed Sarah from day through tonight. We've added a heel instead of a flat. It adds length to the leg, slims down the thighs, which is what us curvy girls want. Now you've got a top that's untucked at the moment, but let's show off that waist that you've got. Mm -hmm. If you can tuck your top in for yeah. me. Sarah's actually wearing a mid-rise jean rather than a low waist. And the great thing is it sucks everything in, it highlights the curves, nips in at the waist here, mm -hmm. shows off that narrow bit of you, and then comes straight back out on the shoulder. And what we've done is we've added a leather biker jacket it's just an effortless look how do you feel feel great definitely yeah. ready to go out we're off on a night out <laughs> but for more fashion and style tips visit laradute.co.uk